It's 840, this is WLLZ in Detroit, and time for news and commentary today from Dick the Bruiser. Thank you. You know, a lot of those bleeding heart, knee-jerk liberal organizations are calling the radio station. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing of them, and I'm going to take them down to the air-conditioned Cobo Arena and knock a few of their numbskull heads in half. I present my viewpoint, and that's the correct viewpoint, and that's the way it is. And that's my viewpoint for today. I'm Dick the Bruiser. Do you think you learned anything at school to prepare you for, learned a ton. for this? I mean, compared to the piece of shit vocational schools that train you in <laughs> broadcasting. We're going to show this to Curtis. <laughs> you have so much better of an education like, going to yeah. a full-on university. The equipment's better. Well, the instructors are better. Are like, the administrators, there's just no comp. I didn't, you know what? And that's how good college was because they taught me all I needed to know before I graduated, so I left. Hell, you can go to these vocational schools. What there's what's the yeah, name of that one? I don't know. I forget it now, but there's one in the area the that number five six nine oh one one or whatever. Yeah. And the thing of it is there and but, the, the day you leave the collection agencies come after you. At school, I still owe college loans. Oh, yeah, sure. They can, you can take your time paying the government back. What's the interest? Yeah. About five I mean, and a quarter like percent, money, six percent? schools are just, bam, right after you with the hounds. Honest to God, if you're not fortunate enough to have been in the U.S. Uh, uh, service uh, and have them pay for it, if you're pulling yeah, this out of your watch, own pocket, I watch mean, Watch some geez. real low suckers in, man. Okay, in three, two, one. J.J. and the morning crew are most... Definitely. Why do I always do yeah. that? In three, two, one. JJ and the morning crew have been entertaining the morning drive. No. Do, uh, do you ever get flack about what's uh, some of the things the mayor says? I mean, like, not from the mayor. They don't give a goddamn. <laughs> I, I'm sure a big part of it, too, is the support you have from the producer and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, went to Central back in 1979, wasn't it, George, I started there? 79. Right out of high school. 68. Oh, fuck you. I was there. <laughs> In three, two, one. JJ and the morning crew have been entertaining listeners for over 14 years. One. Do we have a phone number? Okay. Phone number. <laughs> In three, two, one. JJ and the morning crew are most. Three, two, one. One more time, okay. Oh, certainly. JJ and the morning crew have been entertaining listeners for over 14 years. They're most certainly a unique couple. <laughs> Okay, I, what I want you to do is explain each other. If someone walked up to you and said, Jim, describe Explain George, 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 yeah. George. Exactly. Go ahead. Limp wristed, door knot sucking, rubber pants no, you're wearing, you're flit supposed boy. To describe me, Jeff. <laughs> describe George, the cheapest motherfucker I have ever met in my life. Bar none. Bar none. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> and how would you describe JJ? Oh, lazy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay. In three, two, one. Do the power. It's going. It's going. Yeah. Yeah, the lights on. JJ in the morning. You right? Yeah. Okay. In three, two, one. JJ in the morning crew have made the morning drive more enjoyable for millions of listeners. For well over a decade. For well over a decade. JJ and the Morning Crew have been entertaining listeners for well over a decade. And what keeps them together for so long? We caught up with them here at WLLZ Radio in Farmington Hills on a recent morning. That was that on a recent morning. Yeah. Three, two, one. JJ and the Morning Crew have been entertaining listeners on the drive to work for well over a decade. And what keeps them together? We caught up with them at the radio station. WLLZ. Yeah. Okay. WLLZ. Um, how would you describe your team and your relationship? Now, well, it's uh, pretty solid. George always likes to say that he's survived two of my wives. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is your goal for the mornings? Uh, to make as much money as humanly possible. That's what Tavis said. <laughs> Okay, you're Okay. for good luck. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> In three, two, one. 
JJ in the morning. In the morning crew have been entertaining listeners for well over 14 years. And after spending a morning with them, I realized they're just as crazy in person as they are on air. For Week in Review, I'm Kristen Hogue.